It is time to take a look at skirmish mode here in Company of Heroes 3. Obviously, the game will have some multiplayer to show off in the future. We've also already got some footage on the main campaign of the game, the dynamic campaign. And now we're going to take a look at what it's like just to kind of fight against the AI as multiplayer is not yet here. We'll be playing as the British in a campaign where we need to uh, kind of assist Italian resistance forces and try to push the Germans out. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you click tap below up and destroy that like button. Company Heroes 3, by the way, available to playtest now on Steam. So just make sure you check it out so you can go to their site in order to check it out. Uh, it'll link you through whatever nation you're associated with so you can download it through Steam. Uh, some weird security thing. But anyway, thank you guys for all your support. Plenty of new units. Plenty of fun. I've enjoyed it so far. I want to see more. And I can't wait to see you guys in the battlefield. You all ready? Let's go. All right, here we are. British forces ready to go. We may be on the defense, but that just means we're in a better position to bring the fight <laughs> to the enemy. Alpha voice acting, lol. If we can surround their base, we can force a retreat. Okay, so that's our objective then. Every time that we play this like skirmish mode, problems. it gives us a different set of objectives. Sometimes it's to, as it says, encircle the enemy. Other times we'll it's to hold and turn. defend a certain position Stop and lose it march, uh, under no circumstance. Another thing I'd like to see in this game then is multiplayer modes with random objectives like this. It seems like they're really trying to push uh, the uh, kind of the dynamic mode where during the course of battle uh, aircraft could crash or uh, I don't know like a, a prototype weapon needs to be tested and if you uh, get a kill with it or something it'll give you uh, some extra points or XP. Some, something that you can use in the midst of the battle and of course uh, Obviously, capturing our positions is the most important thing, so let's do that. We got sappers ready to go. The Gurkhas are a fantastic set of units here, and we, of course, can call in uh, extra tanks and such towards the end. On the right side there, you see, like, uh, cooldowns for all sorts of different things we'll have to do. So, bringing in Gurkhas, uh, perhaps the uh, large, uh, what is it, the Churchill tank? I think it's a Mark III. I wonder if we get the crocodile. That'd be cool. I'd love to see some extra equipment and stuff for the British, especially the land mattress would be a fantastic uh, weapon to have as well. And there we have ourselves some Vickers machine guns ready to go too. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and continue to call in some more troops. We need some more uh, mortars and such. I think the Germans are going to give us a hard time for a little bit. They're going to have some artillery or mortars, I think. We'll have to see what we can do about that. But position in the south is hilly. Position in the north is less hilly, and the position in the middle has a town, it looks like. All right, looks like we can build some defenses here with the... Oh, I thought we lost somebody. Good. All right, so we're building uh, all sorts of defenses for the British. I'd like to see the ability to actually build, like, a slit trench, but all we've got so far is sandbags and uh, anti-personnel mines, hedgehogs and barbed wire. Typical stuff. What is that? Oh, okay. Oh, well, there we go. One of our dynamic objectives, then, is to capture uh, the supplies nearby. All right. Okay, so anyway, we've got some troops that we can garrison. I think the most powerful thing I've found so far is the Bren machine guns are incredibly, incredibly powerful. And uh, they actually are very good for the infantry, almost working like a HMG within the squad. They're that effective, although they don't have the ability to suppress like this Vickers here that's just chewing up the Germans in the middle of the roadway. Good stuff. All right. Wow, our base is really clumped together, too. I don't. I wonder if we actually get to build in the future. It seems like maybe they've removed the whole standard building of, you know, having to build, like, a, a barracks and having to build, like, a weapons depot just to speed up the game. So that way there's, like, a faster early game and keeping things fresh with the dynamic objectives. All right, let's get ourselves, yes, the rifle grenade. Boom, damn. That is one of the most powerful things that we have access to in this game, almost like uh, Iron Man, like firing some sort of, like, ion beam from his chest. I love it. And actually, it's a really good weapon to arc over and get into defenses. It's almost like uh, uh, flamethrowers and such. It's like, uh, it, it's good for clearing people out of light cover. Not buildings, but light cover. The Gurkhas are also very, very powerful at uh, throwing multiple grenades. The squad of Gurkhas can literally run up to like a uh, machine gun nest inside of a building and throw a ton of grenades through the, uh, all the windows and just blast the entire machine gun crew out of the damn house. So pretty good uh, to be able to assault with those units as well as defend with all of our lovely sappers. All right, we're, well, I can tell you that we're going to probably run out of cover quickly, and it's going to come down to vehicles soon enough. 
Well, actually, we'll have to play with the Germans. I think what we'll do here is we'll, we'll try to kind of, like, slow things down and try to, like, give them some more territory so we can actually see uh, uh, something other than, like, a... I, I've only been seeing, like, armored cars and verbal winds. I think in the beta here, this, this is set to very easy by default. The AI, no matter what, is going to be an easy in the campaign and easy in the... Um, in the skirmish mode, so they it takes them a very long time before they call out like a, a panther or a, well, I, I've actually never seen a panther, but definitely a panzer 4G, that type of thing. Uh, but I've only seen like um, horrible wins so far. Oh, some good firefight going on here. All right, yeah, pull back, boys. All right, so the rifle grenades are incredibly important for clearing out uh, and winning uh, these skirmishes against, especially German engineers, the pioneers are uh, pretty good with their SMGs, but... All right, vehicles are on the way. Ah, yes, the Humber. Probably one of my favorite vehicles here, especially the sound of that engine. Building one of those is a good idea. All right, let's see. Oh, looks like we're losing some positions here. Okay, oh, I, lo I love the sound of that damn vehicle. That uh, Humber with the auto cannon is just fantastic. What a what a very good, <laughs> not only does it sound good, but it also uh, causes some good damage to the enemy face. It's good stuff. Okay, combat ready. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see. I, I want to start doing some upgrades soon of our infantry. It's going to require more munition. I think it's like, I want brain guns, so it's going to be 100 each. Boys AT rifles are also pretty good for anti-tank, but we'll just go with like a steward or something. Uh, we've already got one of those on the way, so that'll be all right. Sappers reporting. Um. Hmm. Okay, rifle grenade. Nice, and of course it makes them flee pretty much immediately. The enemy may come up here to try to counterattack, but that grenadier squad. Oh damn! Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're literally uh, taking fire, so time to leave. All right, Humber is ready to go again. Oh great, they're capturing more. Uh, points on our positions here, or where we want to have positions. So now we have ourselves a steward. That was good timing. Okay, let's go ahead and move around here. Sorry, making some calculated moves. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's totally fine. Armored car just trying to, like, hide under the ground here like an ostrich, hiding its head. No, you don't. Come on out of your pit. We got a mortar here. We're probably going to lose these mortars, but that hill's a really good spot to take and hold, so the enemy has to go around us and can defend both positions. Probably going to lose that, though, especially if the enemy starts bringing up uh, armored cars. I've seen those pretty early. It's about, about time to see some more of those. All right, let's see. All right, the Humber is a pretty good weapon again. I think we could actually... Um, I think we'll actually... Um, defeat one of those because we have an auto cannon. The Germans I think only get a 2 2, two. Oh, there it is. A 2 2, two. Huh. Well, we'll have to see what else they call out. Let's try to just deal with it with our armored cars and stewards. We'll just try to chew them up. Now, it's about time we'll have to start building... Uh, eventually, I think we can build a big tank depot. Uh, so we'll, for right now, we've just got a motor pool that gives us, like, light vehicles. Anything pretty much with either a, a light tank or anything armored car. And I'd like to transport some more infantry that way, too, but... Alright. Oh, lots of fire. There we go. Nice. Lots of fire being taken there. Man, the German squads are really moving nicely. They're, they're sticking uh, close to a lot of their... Uh, weapons, a lot of their uh, in, in, move, moving in groups and trying to actually take out all of our positions with the kind of like calculated attacks. Either they're finding a flag that's undefended or they move in uh, with a large group of uh, troops and or armored cars. Okay, let's see. Well, I think we're going to have to start doing business inside the uh, village. 
Okay, we want to move our tank here and then try to bring up the infantry for another rifle grenade right about uh, there. Yeah, no, well, they're going to move. Okay, well, takes a minute or two to obviously get it to fire, and then it takes a minute or two to travel, unfortunately. All right, boys. Let's see. There we go. All right, about time we start building our tank battalion thingy. Uh, we'll get that deployed here shortly. Uh, there we go. Yep. I want that right about there. The cool thing about this is that the engineers will actually come out to build these things, and um, we don't have to really keep them at home anymore for housekeeping or whatnot. So we can kind of take care of everything we got to do in one quick move. All right. Now, I, I need to start working our groups in uh, twos. We should probably have two infantry sections together with the uh, Bren guns and also maybe a mortar if we can to kind of stop, beat up the Germans a bit, pin them down, and then finish them off. Right now, we're about 50-50. If the Germans push with the vehicle, we'll probably be pushed back, but so long as we don't lose two of the positions around our flank. All right. I don't know if the Germans, if they send any sort of artillery our way, that's going to give us a hard time. We're having trouble capturing all these flags as it is. They're hitting back on occasion. All right, and we'll also have to go out and get those supplies soon. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Yep. I hear it. Oh no, no, no. Oh, we're gonna lose this one. Wind with a nice kill. Good job, bro. Wind actually doing some, some good work. I think a 20 millimeter times four. Now we'll have access to a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft gun soon. Ah, there's our munitions. Oh boy, and there's an armored car somewhere. Oh, there's the Wind. Never mind. Okay, we're in the church. Thank Jesus. Grab the rest of that munition. Good job, boys. Let's get the hell out of there. All right, we need a tank to deal with this whirlwind. We got access to a Valentine medium tank, an M4A1, with Churchill heavy and an Archer tank destroyer. Nice. Although that <laughs> does that look like a that, that looks like a 26 Patton, right? I mean, uh, Pershing tank. Also, it looks like the Coldstream guards look like the uh, Soviets or whatnot. Let's try the uh, Archer tank destroyer and see what it looks like when we build it. A tank destroyer would be fun. What the hell? Did this crew get one and done? Wait, what? There was a whole... Wow, the Germans must have called off some, like, crazy... No, 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 you don't. Oh, damn, the Germans are actually closing in quick. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're, like, rushing the machine gun nest. Wow, they shoot through the... Um, machine gun team? Dear God. In there, boys. We gotta block them. Damn, the Germans are closing in quick. And we're gonna need, need more than this, uh, 125 for that. Very expensive. Oh, good. Warble wind destroyed. Wow, that was close. Okay, let's continue to cap. Cover! Get your cover now! An infantry section is present and accounted for. Good. Oh, I keep going for that fuel. We got orders, lads. Let's get ourselves another Bren machine gun. Lovely little walk. Oh, that was close. I didn't think we were gonna make that one. Hi, sir. Stand in nice position there. We're taking it. Alright, good. Now we're cleaning up everybody uh, nearby and an infantry section of Tommy's has been trained. We got orders, lads. Ooh, oh. Don't complain. Just bloody mark. I saw some Germans there on the map. Let's move and get munitions. Sounds like a vehicle out there, but it's not. Okay. I think we should also uh, try to get a mortar team. Eh, we'll probably hold here. Yep, keep capping. Good. I want to see if we can get this M26 Pershing, which is clearly an Archer tank destroyer. We're losing a capture point. 
we got the Germans back again. Let's get a flamethrower up. Oh, nice. Bren is doing a good job. Get in there. Yeah, let's cap there and move back to this position and stop the Germans from taking our munitions. Okay. Order standing by. Take the hill, boys. There we go. <laughs> wow, he's fleeing. Hot on his tail, literally. Ooh, uh oh. What vehicle is that? Oh, another Werble Wind, okay. Let's get a nice tank destroyer going and some more infantry. All right. I think we'll take that position and occupy it in the north. We mostly need fuel now. Go, boys, go. Oh, they're dead. Second blast, we'll get them. That was a close one. Yeah, let's get a little closer to that. All right, boys, hold the mortars. German's going to push back hard. What the hell? Wow. They got artillery firing all over. Ah, look at that. The archer drives the correct way. Awesome. There's our M26 Pershing, apparently. <laughs> well, that just means it's in the game. Or, well, maybe a placeholder from previous versions of uh, Company Heroes 2. The beggars are threatening a capture point. Kick the fucking door in quick, come on! All right, fall back, boys. Back. Back. Stop. All right, let's get our uh, Tommy some more machine on. guns. Come on, my neck can come on. Lot faster. We've lost a sector to the enemy. Wow, they're really pushing nicely. Good, a nice fun back and forth between these guys. All right, where are we? Where are those Germans? I can hear them. Present and account. Pick your spot. Pay attention, you lazy bugger. Okay. Well, it's like every time we uh, get behind their lines, we don't get a chance to actually uh, take the territory. Off we go then. We gotta close the pocket, though. Oh boy. Oh, the Warble Winds are not a good thing to fight against. Let's get a Sherman on board now. We'll get a medium tank out. Sherman's going to try to close that pocket in the north now. We'll stay put in the center. And the southern flank. We'll go ahead and get the northern flank situated. And we'll try to bring over that TD. And understood. Let's go. The enemy has pushed us back from our sector. Wow, right, let's get up there. Hey, there we go. We got ourselves the Sherman. Would be nice if the infantry could actually ride on the back of the Shermans. Prefer the look of the British Sherman too to the American one. It's all messy. All sorts of ammunition boxes and stuff all over it. Always eager to serve. All right, boys, let's get you all situated. Sappers, ready to destroy Sappers too. We need to get there today. Nice, there we go. Oh. No, no, let's pull back. Yeah, let's go for that Warble win there. Gotta get those Germans on the run. Oh, 
And we got a 50 cal upgrade going on the top, or a 30 cal, one of the two. Oh, probably inside the building. We need to buy time for the archer to get down here. It's been damaged. Let's go with a sapper section for the Sherman repairs. Okay, bread guns, please. The faster you move, the sooner you'll get there. To the center. All right, let's finish our final assault. It begins now. Damn, look at the range on that archer. That's nice. Look at that. Wow. Incredible range. Very good. That's set nicely. My boys capture those flags now. Take everything back and start picking off those Werbel Winds again. Capturing this position with the infantry. Nice. German uh, AT gun. 88mm anti-tank gun team. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's not what that is, but okay. That's all good. It's all alpha. Whoa. A little too far. Alright, time to close the noose finally. Rifle grenade on the AT gun. Nice. Cleared it out. Ah, oh, there goes that Bren gun. Okay, let's stand by. Okay, I need some more infantry. Could get another tank going. Like shit through a goose. We've got orders to move. Ah, yes, there we go. And they hear our armor coming. Alright, fall back there. Boy, we can make a move in the south if we have infantry. No, we don't. Just like the fuck. Right, we'll go take that position there. Yes, indeed they are. Go up there, boys. Stop them. Unit ready, as requested. All right, let's get the, uh, the sectors in enemy hands. AT there. All right, we just need more infantry now. We got a bit more room for infantry, uh, manpower-wise. Okay, let's use that rifle grenade. Nice. Okay. Oh, artillery striking from the south somewhere. Sound like a flamethrower hit. Alright, let's get both these squads. Bren guns. Ah, we should have this now. Enough armored support to keep the infantry off us, and enough infantry to keep the armor clear. Get another MG up. Ah, perfect. We'll move across the south now and finish our encirclement. Nice. Need a squad to capture that uh, position. There we go. Take that point! 
Ah, good. Okay, we got everything on our side. Boy, that guy was screaming. And damn, we gotta get the mortars down here. Alright, let's move up with the rest of our stuff. Capturing the south. Oh, I love, love listening to that tank just burping as it moves along. Very nice. Right across the small stream. Ah, perfect. All right, one more position to capture in the north. The Germans are going to surround us. Way too many of them. Let's flank around. Alright, push in. Get those mortars up. Save that infantry squad. Stay there, though. I don't want to lose position again. Oh, the brand gun is too good. And there's the German base. Mortars here on standby to hit positions. Oh, it's over, Germans. Now, if we don't take this position, we won't capture, so let's do that on purpose. Let's destroy the base. Alright, let's call in a Churchill heavy tank. Let's call in recon artillery. God. Now's a good time to call these in. The Gurkhas are also a fantastic infantry squad that are super powerful. Very good at uh, eliminating infantry inside of buildings. Germans. All right. Ooh, what do we have here? A Crusader AA. I think that's like a 40 millimeter. Some crazy. Yeah, it's a 40 millimeter Bofors. Ah. So calling in the uh, Crusader AA is a 40 millimeter, and there we go. A big O Churchill. Kind of like a special unit there. This thing's got massive tracks. That's crazy. Ah, there's the AA. A little revenge now for the Whirlwind. Now we got them surrounded. They're not going to get through. Love the anti-aircraft gun. All right, Mark III Churchill's here. Alright, hit, hit him with everything we got, boys. Go in there. There we go. Well done, man. We did what we came here to do. Well, it looks like we have the ability to drop smoke and such, too. Good work, boys. Good work. Close the hot pocket complete. Excellent. Very good. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks again for the support.